Hi guys, me and my Monstera are back because we can't get enough of painting this plant. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but there are so many variations of this one here. So I've chosen my three favorites to paint for you. So grab your kit and let's go. The first leaf I'm going to have a go at is the Monstera variegata. Now I've got to apologize potentially for very bad pronunciation throughout this little video. So the variegata is how it sounds. It's a Monstera leaf and it sort of takes the form of this one quite similarly, but the difference is it has these amazing sort of white shards through the leaf. So it's variegated in color. So I've already drawn out uh, a basic shape and I'm just gonna show you how I would paint one of these. So instead of doing a wash over the top first, I'm just gonna go straight in with a green color. Now I have chosen to go for a sap green rather than a uh, hooker's green, which is what I chose to do the, um, do the other leaf in. So the most important thing is the sort of direction of the color because the color sort of feeds out from the central section of the leaf. So my brush strokes will all be sort of going in and out this way and that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to paint up my green edges and the white is gonna come from what doesn't get painted. So I'm doing strong edges, just as I did with the Monstera Deliciosa. And then the difference is, is that I'm gonna be painting quite a lot less and just using a clean wet brush to sort of blend and allow for colour to not travel quite as far and to leave a few sort of raw edges there. We still do have the lines and the veins so we still do want to allow for a bit of that. But on the whole we're just doing quite a bit less. And it's amazing to sort of have a look online or, or even if you've got the real thing, these, these leaves are absolutely crazy. They need to be seen to be believed because the white just sort of comes out of nowhere really and it can be very sort of random as well so the most important thing is just to try and keep the direction of the colour consistent And I'm going to sort of blend down into a much paler colour towards the edge. So I'm going to use a bit more blue in my leaf now. So that now it looks a lot paler than the rest of the leaf, but I still am doing a little bit of colour. And I've still got my little lines. Because we do need a little something on the edge just to show us that there is the edge of the leaf there. So this is a fun project to sort of have a go at and then you can have a look at my five top tips of painting a Monstera Deliciosa to then apply to this and you could use this type of leaf to then paint yourself a full plant. Okay, so this is gonna dry a lot lighter and then what we're gonna be able to do is just add a few 
extra little sort of shards of green to finish it all off. So I'm just going to paint up the other side and we'll catch up once that's dried. Now we've got ourselves a sort of pale and um, slightly sort of brush strokey leaf that's actually it's mad like that is actually what it looks like. The last thing we're going to do for this one is I'm going to take a bit more of the concentrated colour and I am just going to choose a few places and just add a little bit more concentrated green to the finished piece. You must go and have a look at these because they're just amazing. Um, and it's lovely because they, they look like they've been painted, so that's quite cool really. So I'm just making sure, you must make sure that your leaf is dry before having a go at doing this. And keep your brush strokes in the same kind of direction of the leaf as we were doing earlier. And these ones take the same form as the Monstera Deliciosa in terms of the actual plant itself. So if you haven't already had a go at my uh, five top tips of how to paint the Monstera Deliciosa, you should go and have a look at that now because it's a really good sort of starting point for painting these kinds of plants. And I think I'm done. Add a little bit more. It's always easy to just add a little bit more. Okay, we shall stop. So that is a Monstera variegata leaf. Next up, I've done two little diagrams already for you. Um, so again, the leaf each time we have a central line drawn and if it's not a complete heart shape, it's getting pretty close to it. So we've got a really lovely um, rounded leaf there and something with a little bit of a heart at the, at there. So this one here is called the Monstera oblique, obliqua, oblique. <laughs> I'm never quite sure. And the really fun thing with this one is it's quick and easy to paint. And it's another one that's a bit mad to look at. So I highly recommend you go and look up the real thing. And I'm just going to paint um, a, what feels like a sort of random loose arrangement, but essentially what it is, is the holes on an obliqua are so big that it's just a case of painting along the outline and giving yourself a few extra little holes that come in from the center. So I'm using a hooker's green and I'm going to sort of essentially fill in my central line with a few holes down there and then down the side we just sort of follow the various line of the leaf with lots of nice sort of fairly concentrated paint but it's very wet so it blends nice and seamlessly into each other and I'm using a size 8 brush to do this and it's a really fun one it's a bit of a release after being quite precise and sort of holding your breath a bit with the other leaf that we're just painting so up the middle I'll just do another little one there and then down the other side I think this is a really satisfying one to do. 
Um, your leaves sort of come off at the same stage, but your little circles or your little holes in the middle don't come at exactly the same point. This leaf feels like it would just break into a thousand pieces very quickly, doesn't it? And because you're using a nice wet mix, you're able to work fairly quickly and it will not have blended into the page. And there we go, the quickest Monstera leaf I know, Monstera obliqua. And then down here, we're going to do mini Monstera. Um, it's actually called now, can I pronounce this? Raphidophora tetrasperma, but it's also known as mini Monstera, so it does count. And these ones grow in a sort of trailing vine. They're a really nice sort of hanging plant, I suppose, as well as a nice uh, house plant to have and they are a little bit darker green so we're just adding in a bit of a bit of Prussian blue to get a bit more of a, a deep deep color in our sap green and again these ones are nice and simple so I've got my large brush and I'm just gonna go for it so we'll tie this one at the top first Essentially, they are leaves which have almost more gap than leaf. It's pretty much how I would describe it. So you've still got your guide but I like to fill in the whole thing, not worry about doing veins and leaves and lines. They're rather strange, aren't they? Proper jigsaw puzzle piece leaves. Another one. I think this would be a really nice leaf to paint uh, on a sort of cool like border, I think. So yeah, like we've got the we've got the uh, the gaps being almost as big as the leaf itself. We're following the shape down, but we are going. Yeah, we're really going sort of alternating down as we go. And that's why the central line is so important because there's not a lot of leaf here. Now, if you love houseplants, as I know many of you do, you should look out for n the next tutorial we've got coming because we're just going to have a lovely doodle and paint up a whole load of really fun house plants. Um, we're going to have palms, we're going to have ferns, it's going to be lovely. So if you haven't already subscribed, I highly recommend you go and do that. The other thing is we've started a Patreon and Patreon, for those of you who don't know, is a subscription based service where you can support an artist who you think is doing really great work. Um, so some sub subscription tiers uh, involve rewards and some are just simply a way for you to say, yep, I support you, here's like two pounds a month price of a coffee type thing, and just keep doing what you're doing. So we've 
just launched one. And what I'm really excited about is we've got three tiers. The first one is just simply a two pounds a month plus fat where you're just saying, we love the YouTube videos, um, keep making them. Here's a little bit of a contribution towards making those. Then the next tier up, which is three pounds a month plus fat, you get added to my close friends list on Instagram stories. And Instagram stories is really where it all began for me in terms of doing online content and tutorials, because that's where I love to film my commissions and sort of talk you through what it is I'm working on that day. And then sort of through that, I sort of surreptitiously end up doing nice tutorials um, for people. So that one is a wonderful kind of behind the scenes access, I guess, for De Winton Paper Co and what I do. And then if you're really keen to actually learn more watercolour, develop as an artist and possibly, I don't know, turn this into a living, that would be kind of cool. Then the top tier, which is the Sweet Pea tier, is the one for you. That is where we're going to have weekly watercolour challenges where it's uh, going to be set by me each week and they're going to be little challenges on uh, using watercolour that are going to force you, <laughs> force you, that sounds a bit much, are going to encourage you to think a little bit more creatively and push you out of your comfort zone a little bit and yeah, just sort of unlock maybe parts of your brain that haven't really been exercise much since school maybe um, so that one's eight pounds a month and you're basically getting weekly tutorials from me and you're also saying uh, thanks for the YouTube so if you're interested in that we've got all the details in a link with the episode notes so now I'm just linking these all together on a vine and of course because it is see-through like that we can do a nice joining vine like that so there we go you've got three more monstera leaves to have a look at we've got variegata obliqua and mini monstera so there was a whole host of houseplants for you there to paint Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, we have a Patreon, which you can find out more about below in the episode notes. And a like and a comment is always super helpful. And of course, you can subscribe so you don't miss another video. Okay, thanks a lot, bye.